there are billions of stars in the universe. We can see some of these with Earth-based telescopes, but not completely, because the atmosphere distorts images seen through telescopes and filters out a major portion of the infrareds, ultraviolets, X-ray, and gamma rays. It is these invisible radiations that could tell astronomers how stars are created and give clues to the origin of the universe. This is the Orbiting Astronomical Observatory, OAO, shown here in the clean room at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, Maryland. It will soon be launched 500 miles out in space to take a close-up look at the stars, views never before seen by man. The more than two-ton OAO spacecraft is this country's heaviest unmanned satellite. It will carry nine telescopes, five in one end, four in the other. OAO will transmit its stored observations in numerical form rather than as pictures. Computers on the ground then process the data for use by astronomers. The OAO is a precise optical package, so steady it can fix on an object the size of a golf ball 100 miles away. One of the unique tasks on this first flight will be to map the entire sky by measuring ultraviolet light. If the orbiting astronomical observatory is successful in its mission, astronomers will have a powerful new tool for studying how matter and energy interact to generate the elements, the stars, and the galaxies, and better understand the origin of the universe. has been an Aeronautics and Space Report presented by NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration.